Hey guys, if you follow me so far then you know that I'm really like this printer and I'm putting a lot of time into this, trying this thing run even better and smoother and faster than before. So in this video I'm gonna uh, show you how you can fine tune your uh, extruder steps uh, and uh, make this thing run even better than before. So if you wanna achieve this type of quality in, for my previous video then then follow me. What you're gonna do is you go and open in Acura in this version and you're gonna connect your uh, printer to the USB cable and then you're gonna end up with this window. This window is a basic control to a printer and what I found is all of this uh, X, Z and I um, measurements was fine or let's say movements was fine but on the extrude line uh, I didn't get really this um, these settings that they claim so if you press here you should get 10 millimeters of line but not really so what you're gonna do is um, first you heat up your uh, your hot end and and then wait to this uh, kicks to 180 degrees so let's do this all right we have our uh, 100 degrees now let's take out the tube now the reason why that I cut right there is now we're gonna press the button wait a second now we're gonna press this button and then we're gonna measure how much really uh, material we're gonna get if you press there. Press there for five times and measure your length. One, as you can see here. Two, three, four, five. So five times. Now we wait to confirm is this really 50? Uh, millimeters or not Before that I change in a firmware. I get this 37 millimeter. So mine was 37.5 not even no sorry 47.5 it was not even close to 50 But I can show you which line in a firmware you can change and you can get even awesomely better prints with this So let's confirm to this All right Let's try to measure this one. You see? I don't I don't know you can can you see in the camera? Wait. This is it, 50. So my length after my firmware, uh, after that I change codes in a firmware, it's exactly 50. Check yours. If it's not 50, then follow the next section. And now we are in a Skynet firmware, version 1.1, 1, 1 .1, in a configuration uh, side. And the line which you're looking for is this default x steps per unit and mine here was 90 so 90 gives me around 48 or something 48 of uh, filament and that was not 50 which this cura claim so i calculated mine that 93.1 was perfect for me so what and now I'm gonna show you how you can calculate yours. So open the calculator. And now we are in a calculator and now we're gonna calculate how many steps or what type of number we should type here. Mine here was 90, you know, hook yours, I believe it's the same. So uh, if your here is a 90, let's say, and you did the measurements 
of the filament and you get some some uh, value then we're gonna do like this so you have we ask for 50 divide by the number that you get let's say you get 48 or 47 or who knows what and then equal this this number and now we're gonna multiply this with the number which was here my was 90 here again so we go with a 90 and we're gonna get this number and this number I don't know which will be yours but mine was 93.1 but this line this number you're gonna change right here and then you're gonna go to upload and flash the firmware again after the flashing of firmware you cut your wire exactly the same at the end here and then go back to the cura here and then you extrude again so click one once then wait for three seconds or click another one next time so don't click like five times in a second maybe the printer can get confused so so trick here like for five times and then do the measurement if it's not the same let's say if it's not exactly 50 or maybe 50.2 or 50.3 you know it it's still the good but what you're looking for is you're looking for first two digits has to be 50 and then after the last two digit can be a little bit off but 50 you have to have it so 50 you ask for 50 you have to get after this when i done this mod test your printer again print a cube or a collaboration cube of some and then you're gonna get this awesome result that i show you so this is how you fine tuning your filament uh, in the skynet forever after this uh, v6 and uh, load extruder mode all right and then after um, you did the measurements and fine tunings and you get your 50 then uh, extrude a little bit more you know with a button here on a softer or with a hard button extrude a little bit more uh, the filament and the way you install this it's pretty easy so you just take take this filament find a, find the spot you know do a little bit there like this find what it is and then hold it press inside and then you're gonna get your filament of course you can press this button a couple of times one or two and, and watch the filament going and the tube is installed uh, one more thing uh, important is how much this tube should go in it's approximately uh, 2.5 centimeters or something but you're gonna feel definitely tight there and then you're gonna know that uh, it's sent now the next thing is uh, this uh, heat bed holder uh, that I did this mode and honestly I get a little bored with uh, with a screwdriver all the time so I print this mode uh, how you do it keep in mind that uh, this plate or let's say this screw right there it's 2.8 millimeters so um, you have to drill this plate let's say to three millimeters to make this uh, this screw go all the way so the idea is uh, you have the the screw inside and you have one one bolt right there you know first one and then you tight uh, the axle with this bolt with this bolt and then you add the spring and then you add this plastic uh, holder and then you add this plastic bolt with uh, inside there is a bolt as well so this is it after how you um, level your bed it's pretty it's pretty easy you just screw this in or out and you made fine adjustment to your bed small but neat upgrade
And I forgot to mention the last thing. Uh, it's a small thing, but it's pretty useful. So uh, this tube usually comes with uh, maybe 80 centimeters or maybe one meter. So uh, you don't need uh, that uh, length. So you can cut small piece of art and you can install here. What is this that is this show the way of filament and it's go nice and smooth inside without any of these no more. And uh, conveniently, this is four, mil four millimeters as well on this side, so it's pretty neat. So just put the small part on this, you know, take twist it a little bit, and you're gonna get nice way all the way through your hot end. That's it, guys. Some small upgrades, but useful. Take care and good luck with your printer. Bye bye. I'm definitely going to buy the new one tomorrow. I'm sick of this, but look at this. <laughs> it's totally beat up. So, bye bye guys, take care.